Hello, my name is April Baller and I work in the WHO Health Emergency Program. Today we're going to discuss a training module on basic hygiene measures that you can take before and while you're out on mission. The learning objectives of this module are to list the basic hygiene measures necessary to protect yourself and others from respiratory and other infectious diseases. And two, to apply key principles of basic hygiene while working in the context of respiratory disease outbreaks. The outline for today's session is introduction to basic hygiene measures, which include hand hygiene, respiratory hygiene, and maintaining distance, some considerations in performing hand hygiene measures, recommended items to bring with you, and key messages. So for an introduction to basic hygiene measures, what are these? These are measures that should be put in place and performed in any given setting. And they should be augmented with other measures in particular settings, such as maintaining distance of at least one meter from people with any respiratory symptoms. Basic hygiene measures. These include hand hygiene, respiratory hygiene, and avoiding close contact with sick people. So, when should one perform hand hygiene? Basically, there are several indications for this. One of them, and one of the most important ones, is when you're preparing food. Before preparing food, during preparing food, and afterwards. Also, before and after eating. Additionally, after blowing in your nose, coughing, or sneezing. Then there is when you're caring for someone else. In this context, you should wash your hands before you care for them to protect them and after caring for them to protect yourself. Other indications for washing your hands include when touching animals, that includes the animal itself, animal feed, or animal waste, when touching garbage, and after using the toilet. Very important to note that you should always perform hand hygiene before and after touching your face and nose. So what agents should one use to perform hand hygiene? If the hands are visibly soiled, you should always use soap and water. However, if they are not dirty or soiled, then alcohol-based hand rub is the preference. How to perform hand rub and hand washing. For hand rub, you can do it for approximately 20 to 30 seconds. The diagram you see here goes through each of the nine steps. For the hand washing, you use soap and water, and you need a bit more time, usually between 40 to 60 seconds. The next point is about respiratory hygiene. So what is respiratory hygiene? These are several things that you should do with respect to protecting yourself. One is cover your mouth and nose with a disposable tissue when coughing or sneezing. Discard the tissue immediately afterwards into a non-touch waste bin. Or, if using a handkerchief, clean it with soap and water or detergent. If you do not have a tissue, you can sneeze into your elbow but always remember to perform hand hygiene afterwards. Now we move on to a different way to prevent yourself from getting respiratory disease. One of them is to reduce the time spent in crowded places as the likelihood of coming in contact with people who are ill is higher in crowds. Also, keep a distance of at least one meter, which is greater than the length of your arm from people who are coughing or sneezing. And finally, avoid touching, shaking hands, or kissing sick people. Some considerations in performing hygiene measures. The main aim is to protect yourself from getting infected. The measures should be performed with due consideration of the context you're in. So, for example, if you're in an area where there's scarce water source or the water is not clean, it is preferable to use alcohol-based hand rub when your hands are not visibly soiled. Handshaking or greetings with contact is the norm in some societies. You need to be so culturally sensitive as possible. 
Finally, disposing used materials or tissues, make sure to bring your own resealable bags and dispose of these later. What are the recommended items to carry with you? It's very important to take with alcohol-based hand rubs, disposable face tissues for sneezing and coughing, thermometers, disposable medical masks in case you develop respiratory symptoms. Taking note that WHO does not recommend healthy people wear masks routinely. And finally, bring resealable plastic bag to dispose of waste such as tissues. What are the key messages of today's module? Perform basic hygiene measures at all time. Augment these with other measures in particular situations or settings. Basic hygiene measures include hand hygiene, respiratory hygiene, and maintaining distance. And the aim is to protect yourself from getting infected. However, measures should be performed with the consideration of the context you are in. With that, we say thank you for today, for joining us, this module, and we hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.